Hey there guys, I'm Kyle. And I'm Paul, we're the Quad Bro. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about the Whiteout from Skynet Hello. I'm gonna be behind the camera today, so Kyle's gonna be talking to you. This is the first ever Month of Minis review. Okay guys, I'm gonna be talking to you about the Whiteout from Skynet Heli. We were lucky to receive a buying and fly kit from them. This kit includes 2300 kV DYS motors, 6 inch propellers, 12 amp Simon K ESCs, and a CC3D flight controller. As well as the whiteout frame itself, which according to their website is made of white fiber. This kit includes landing gear, a Mobius mount, and a power distribution port, um, which goes to an XT60 connector. Um, there's no battery included, but we were using a 2200 milliamp hour 3S battery. Um, the only other thing that's not included is a FPV system. We put on a Boscam 5.8 GHz 200 milliwatt video transmitter and a 700 TVL Sony camera for vehicle. So like I said, or I might not have mentioned, this kit is built, tuned, and tested by Skynet Heli. Meaning um, that they did everything to make this thing fly right out of the box after you bind the receiver which is also included, uh, Lemon Receiver, which is DSM-2 compatible. However, we're using a Frisky D4R2 receiver and our Tyrannus X9D and our Dominators for FPV. Um, like I said, this is built, um, and the build is extremely clean. All the ESCs are heat shrink, as well as the wires are all in mesh. Um, the power distribution board was soldered very well, and the entire thing uh, is very clean, like I said before. Um, in addition, they tuned it, which I feel like a lot of people just put in the standard PIDs and call it tuned and then ship it out. Um, I can tell they actually did um, do custom tuning for this and go out to the field and test it to make sure that it flew exactly like they wanted it to. Because right out of the box, this thing does fly like something with GPS or how this thing actually flies. And in a previous review of the TBS Gemini, we mentioned how stable that one was. Um, right out of the box, in my opinion at least, this one is even more stable than that. And I can credit that to Skynet Heli's awesome tuning. Um, as well as the CC3D flight controller, which is held up extremely well. Um, at both that hovering, which is extremely useful for the newer pilots, um, where you're able to even take your hands off the transmitter and it'll hover right where you want it to, which is GPS-like. As well as the CC3D is handled well um, at extremely fast flying. We haven't been doing any acrobatic flights with this, but for the very speedy mini quad FPV flying, this has been the perfect flight controller in my opinion. Um, we've been getting seven to 10 minutes on a 2200 milliamp hour 3S battery, um, based on, of course, how fast we're flying and the style of flying we're doing. And that's with all your FPV gear, as well as either a GoPro or Mobius camera on there. So that's 10 minutes if you're not going that fast with a GoPro and FPV gear, which I thought was really impressive for a mini. So in conclusion, this is a really awesome build. Although it offers some super smooth flying, in fact, you could probably do some basic aerial video on here with the included Mobius mount. And I will mention that you could easily carry a GoPro. In fact, that's what we were using for the majority of video from this thing. It has the carrying capabilities, but not an included GoPro mount. Um, but in addition to these smooth uh, flying capabilities, it also can really kick it on the speed. Um, I would say the Gemini we have is a little bit faster. Although we weren't able to get exact speeds as we don't have a radar gun, we are working on getting one. So hopefully by the end of the month of minis, we'll have exact speeds on all the mini quads and hexes um, we're gonna be reviewing throughout this entire month. Um, so who we recommend this build for? Uh, I'd say for anyone getting into the mini quad, mini hex, or anywhere in the quadcopter, hexacopter uh, hobby, I figure this is a perfect way to get into it. For only $250, the only other money you're gonna need to spend is for the battery and transmitter, as well as this is built, tuned, and tested by professionals, so you're not gonna have to worry about making the mistakes on your own build. Um, this would be perfect for those newer people. Um, I would say um, a more experienced fly flyer would also love this build. However, I feel this is targeted towards the newer pilots and is absolutely perfect for them, as it does fly very well. Um, you could also use it for basic aerial filming, as I said, but for the most part, I'm gonna say this is for the newer FPV pilot. This does give you room to expand by adding on FPV gear as you want to, as well as you can make some upgrades and changes to the tuning of the board as you become a better pilot in order to try out some accurate flying or different styles of flying in general. So thanks for watching, and we'd like to thank Skynet Heli for making this video possible. And I'm sure you've seen Kyle and I wearing these t-shirts in previous episodes. If you'd like to buy one, please click the link in the description below. 
We'll also have Skynet Heli's link in the description below if you want to buy a Skynet Heli t-shirt, the Whiteout, or any of their other awesome products. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Also hit that subscribe button to see our future videos, more specifically, more month of minis videos, where we're going to be bringing you a whole month's worth of content on mini quads and mini hexes. Also comment below if you want to see anything specific in our future reviews. Thanks for watching and we're going to leave you with this.